Let's see that a bit neater. Yeah. And at uh, least Ruki's slot's no longer less empty. Actually. Oh yeah, the sun actually is shining through properly. That's nice. Yes, the very brief period that the sun shines on this side of the gate. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit better side, but it's tradition at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, between the it being on, in the belt and it being below the gate. Yes. Actually, does the sun ever reach favorable angle on this side? That's probably fine. Oh, where's my tidy thing gone? I oh, know. Just... <laughs> One of the origin stations looks really like the scooter I use, like the same shape. <laughs> and you're just flying yeah. towards it. Yeah, it keeps throwing me. Oh, I look. It's like, where's my scooter? I look over <laughs> and I see the origin station. It's like, bro. <laughs> yeah, seems that. so far away. <laughs> what the hell? At a laborer at origin, I thought was one of the origins. Remember my stations. scooter dropping my FPS by twenty when I look at it. No, he dropped. Ah. Yeah, or because I almost got. No, oh, hello, Metallica's there. Welcome, hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, I sound like. I sound like crap. Huh. Feel better. Mind Dang, about you. So many are you. Mind about Are you standing on the tour ship? Yeah. Uh. Huh. I think so. Unless I'm, I am on the wrong ship. Ah, uh, yes, minor bet. Yes, that, uh, uh, minor bet you are standing on the tour ship. It's, it's unfortunate that the uh, LOD isn't loading in for you. Let's think about it. People still moving their ships in last minute. Oh. <laughs> I know, I had to. That's what happens. Anyone need help still last minute? I can give pointers um, by streaming. So you can see a top down view or something. If you don't mind my game crashing every five minutes or so, because it's my graphics fine. card is dying. Oh, wow. I figured this might as well be a good time as ever to start streaming. Let's and set a new uh, uh, monthly high. What does the tour ship look like? Big it's yellow big ship. and yellow. I think I see it then. In Zealand, I think wine red. Typical, typical Antares colors. Is it's a very well made ship. It's impressive. And it's just pretty clean. It's, it's clean damn sight better than the last one. Reminds me of a reminds me of a, a Stratios a little bit from Eve. Yeah. Well, I'm saying it's definitely better made than the last tour ship we had. <laughs> <laughs> Subtle yeah, roast there. Weld blocks just everywhere, right? It it was horrible. All the panel gaps just filled with sockets. <laughs> oh, the train. Yes, that that that's the joke here. Oh, well, self I like my train. Yeah. Very nice. uh, the train's awesome, dude. What do you mean? It was awesome. Yeah. Yes. Commander, I wish the wheels could have turned. Yeah, with some chairs on them. Also, how do you get in? Uh, is it through the on bottom? On the side here. Huh? I pray for Commando's ships this time. Let's not have any incidents. 
Uh, close, <laughs> close to the close to the back of the ship there on both sides. There's, another there's a reason why he's always right next to the spawn terminals. <laughs> close to the back on both sides, okay. And there are the decals that, that show you where the opening is. Cool these people. Then I'm apparently just blind. Oh there! Is that Look, a party open? ship in here. Even oh, with the disc oh, jump, that's, cool. that's it. Hello. 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 <laughs> Just in time for the main event. <laughs> yep, I can't use my main mic, so I'm really low quality headset right now. Sounds alright. Oh, good. I am gonna have to bump you up. Quiet your for us. I don't, I don't know if that's. Uh... <laughs> And no damage! Last minute problems, one of my biggest ships just broke into a million pieces. <laughs> oh, okay. man. That's not good. Do you need help with that? Um, um, I put what's left of it in my lot. Hopefully it will stay, the remaining pieces will stay in place. Reasonably together. Yes, whatever. Okay, I feel like I've cursed you now because literally like less than a minute before you joined us, like, I pray for that commander's ship stay in one piece. I wasn't about to say. <laughs> <laughs> there is a reason why you're right next to the terminals. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. I appreciate that whoever put me there. Uh -huh. yeah. There's the door. The door is where I'm coming out. Where I'm standing. Well, who are you? Mark on this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone's voices. I'm sorry. Yeah, there and there are a lot of voices to choose from. There are a lot of usernames to choose from. It's okay. We all seem to have fairly distinct accents, so. <laughs> well, really the guy, the same, yeah. yeah. And the guy swinging a pickaxe in the air on top of the ship. Oh, I see you. Yeah, the door is here. Oh the interior God, is very remember. lovely, but I feel like I'll get a better view on top, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought it was all glass. That's well, at least it has the interior. Engine no sale here. The interior is very sweet. Oh, sure, maybe I could just stand by the window. But then I'll look like an uh, excitable young kid running back and forth. Naturally. <laughs> What's going on it's a bar counter. No, I mean, I wasn't oh, yeah. talking about the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. Uh, these are just nothing to see here, just a few, and those who have had a bit too much lubricant to drink. Mm. Well, as to say, lubricate before, before you defecate. Oh, man. Yeah. Some fancy bottles. <laughs> There's a pig. Is this ping gonna cause like disaster when we start moving? That's the disaster pig, okay? I'm pretty sure pink is fine. Okay, that, that, that's that, yeah, this will be funny. Oh, Frank, looks like I mean we're in the safe zone. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, don't don't jinx it. <laughs> I know. I like doing that. <laughs> Frank, Frank, looks like Colt has it's some like kind of thing. sky tanker alien event going on. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed that in chat. I'll make sure to mention it. Like, if I trigger all the red flags now, then there won't be any left for the event. <laughs> all the red flags, yeah. And what's that LOD pill in the distance? Mm. The disco balls are sweet. Yeah. It would be better if they actually, you know, could would actually change colors and all that, but you know, details. Watching the buttons go in and out is rather mesmerizing. Wait, they do? Yeah. Oh wait, they actually do go in and out and change color. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah, you guys did a really great job with this ship. Yes. Very nice. Oh, thanks. I saw a minute ago I was showing the 
uh, nearest uh, nearest and, space uh, map. Is that automatic? Okay. Yeah, oh, about 30 seconds till the event starts. <laughs> now 30. Hmm, I'm missing a mic here. I've got yeah, just trying I've to get all mic. my mic stuff set up before yeah. it actually starts. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I put it. We could have added a mic, but uh, that's the last uh -huh. thing like that. That's this. Sorry. <laughs> oh, nearly. No worries. But you need mic for here. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, so we'll see. Mic Whoa, for this. <laughs> Rolling right. with it. Close enough. Before we get things, we're gonna start to get things started. Everyone, hop on the 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 interior of the big yellow ship. We'll have a few words before we get going here by the fantastic people that have put the event together. Yep. Don't worry about it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna take long. I know you guys are here to see ships, not to see me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oops. I'm here for the pig. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it's that. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's no longer my first pickaxe, so who cares? <laughs> hey, is that everyone? Uh, I'm still looking at the game. Most of everyone here. Speech! I believe it's everyone. Speech. Just nice to see us control. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, this is actually really picturesque. Welcome to Whoa. the Con. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, I don't really have a... Honestly, I don't really have a speech repaired, so I'm just gonna ad-lib this. <laughs> As I usually do. That's the best kind of speech. Yeah. So yeah, guys, this is probably the... It's, this is the fifth EOS Con, actually. So it's been two years since we first started all this. That's a long time for EOSCON to be sticking around. And I'm honestly, I'm really grateful to all of you guys who've continued to come, who continue to exhibit your ships here. Thank you for all your time. EOSCON would not be what it is today without you guys. So, quick round of applause. Woo, EOSCON! <laughs> 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 cheers, to, cheers to all the exhibitors cheers to all of the people coming here just to check out all the ships and at the end of yoscon i hope you guys go back all inspired to continue making more ships and here's hoping yes. we get to hear more from uh frozen bite in april for the next update here, here. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Alrighty. Get the show on the road. Uh... Oh my god, what's going on? Fireworks! <laughs> 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 oh, no. okay, tell me, tell me where <laughs> that is one hell of a ship. <laughs> that is a light show, alright. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to hop out of the yellow ship onto its roof. Feel free to ch check out the light show put on by Freelancer. Oh man, free. like. God, <laughs> Yeah, air show, bro. <laughs> Courtesy it to. It's so much more volume than a THX like <laughs> opening credit scene. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Ouroboros and Freelancer for putting this fireworks show together. <laughs> All the bullet. I mean, you're welcome to join in with your own guns if you want to. Tradition at this point. Yep. How many guns do you have on that thing, Freelancer? Yes. 
Just <laughs> <laughs> another night out of town. Anyway, Riker, I'm waiting on your side to get to it. Okay? Yeah, let's, get, let's start things up. I have to tweak my audio a little bit because God damn, it's so loud. <laughs> All right, there we go. Fantastic. All right, for those of you that can hear me, uh, yes. you know, big, uh, big shout outs to both um, Ark and and. Uh, you all know we had to do a little bit of a delay this time around, but we still all got here. Fantastic. Despite the insanity that is real life, I find it impressive and heartening to see that we can continue to group up and cherish excellent builds. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, in which case, speaking of which, the ship that we are standing on, beautifully constructed by Antares with their signature yellow coloring, uh, in my opinion, the first part of the tour is the ship that we use. So, absolutely beautifully put together. Um, I would not be surprised if it ends up in their plot, which I'm sure we will come across as we go down the tour. Otherwise, I know there have been a few tweaks with the... Uh, I know there have been a few tweaks with the plots and the positioning. I'm pretty sure the map is accurate, uh, but if I get some plots wrong, feel free to keep me honest. It should be accurate as far as I'm aware. Um, Fantastic. But I will update things if people are uh, in weird places. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no fun with that. Otherwise, I think we are pretty well set to get the tour started. Make sure you have your feet planted firmly on the hull of the tour ship, as you will probably be left behind otherwise. Um, Wait, I still have to get my game has crashed again. Uh -oh. Man overboard! <laughs> Does Freelancer want to get on, or is he cool with his uh, spinny thing? <laughs> you damage, jump on. Uh, uh, yeah, is nope. starting. Uh, yeah, oh. <laughs> How do you do that? A uh, slash yell. It's a slash yell. It makes the text red for local people. Yeah, this is going to be a, quite the tour. I, I, from a distance, I can already see some uh, very impressively sized vessels. So, <laughs> um,. This will definitely be fun. That's gotta be setting a record. Alrighty, let me make sure my, my brain Go is oriented correctly here. I have to get up on one of these on one of these struts so I can see better. Alright. So as we begin our tour here, we are currently passing through two plots. I believe the one on the right of us is currently listed for Commando Doggo. I don't. It looks like there might be one or two small things there. You know, you never know. Uh, my there's three control. small ships and two big ships, but they're not loading. Ah, the big ships aren't loading. Classic Starbase for you. On the left, we have a couple other things loading in. This is a plot by uh, Stewin Progress Bar. I don't know if that's two separate people or not. That's two separate, separate people. people. Two separate people. So Stuan and Progress Bar. And Progress Bar is a very funny name. The Ring, I must say, is very fascinating. Reminds me of old school, like, Stargates. Uh, who knows what that's going to look like when it fully loads in. But they actually have quite a large selection. Uh, definitely check them out as we continue forwards here. Up ahead of us, what do we got going on? We got classic KSI. With their, with their black and yellow patterning. They've got a very nicely put together little sign over their plots. So you'll never, you know, get confused with where they are, which is very nice to have. On the right, we've got Hapton Shiftyard, Geth, and Hot Soup. <laughs> Not they're somebody. serving Hot Soup, but, you know. They've got a, a, a square looking thing that looks very odd. It's almost like a like a shipyard, perhaps, or maybe an asteroid snagger. If for some reason you're one of those people that enjoys uh, kidnapping asteroids for, you know, purposes, uh, then that's definitely for you. 
Otherwise, ahead of us, this large plot with with a whole slew of what is happening here. We've got what looks like two massive towers of some kind, some ring-looking light ship in the far back right corner there. Now to our right as we're flying, a variety of other ships I see. I like the orange-looking one. Uh, they got a whole different, they got a whole kinds of color scheme going on here. This is... Uh, Ouroboros and Sky Tanker. Uh, you can see their combined large plot. Right, come back here, check it out. Maybe wait a couple minutes for them to load in because you know Starbase. Um, but as we loop around their large plot, we're gonna we're gonna make a right here. I would assume down on the main line. We are currently on the main road. If you are traversing the area. It is highly recommended that you stick to the main road as much as possible. Uh, there are some shuttles that will be flying around. See if you can get a hold of one of those. As to not kind of pollute the area, right? We don't want to accidentally bump into each other as we're flying around. As we continue down the main road here, we see a variety of plots on our left. We'll touch base more on these as we come back this way. Have no fear. But you can kind of get a little bit of a sneak peek on what we'll be able to see. I see a, a potential crown, which is going to be very interesting. <laughs> but otherwise, as we uh, continue past Ouroboso's and Sky Tanker's plot to our right, we're going to approach a couple other small plots. The first of which you can see out there, Kalita, is currently sitting there vigilant. Remember, if you have a plot... You're probably going to have to AFK your body in the area to make sure that your ships stick around because, you know, it's star based insanity. We have also had reports of potential thievery going on. So if you have a valuable house out here, make sure you can eye on them. Uh, it's particularly your tow settings. So you need that as yeah, well. the towing settings. Otherwise, this plot on our left, this is Freelancer's plot. Uh, a variety of ships look like potentially mining, hauling ships. Kalita's currently got a, a vigilant watch over the area at the moment. Make sure you go and say hi to them at some point. We're going to make a left here. Kind of go down kind of the, the, the back alleyway area. To our right, we're passing another plot by Freelancer. We gave them two plots. They have a lot of stuff to show off. And we wanted to try to keep things condensed, well organized. So both the plots on our left and right both belong to Freelancer. I'd be very curious what's happening on the right here. They've got some interesting, maybe component display, perhaps, which is kind of a cool concept. Um, as we continue forward, we've got two additional small plots on our left and right. To our right, we have uh, Haywire Dynamics. And Ockel Ossel? Ockel? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. My instinct is Ossel, but I could be wrong. Works. Uh, looks like they've got potentially some, some very well put together luxury starships, perhaps. Maybe some miners. Looks like perhaps a hauler or two. Interesting angles with the with the VODs that are not totally loading in. But to our left, we have another classic. He's been around before. JP Tech. Always showcasing trippy designs. Uh, looks like potentially a, a, a rounded cube of some sort, which is, you know, I'm always a fan of cubes, personally. Cubes are great. Otherwise, as we progress forwards here, we've got a large plot coming up on our right. The producers of the very ship that we are standing on, as you can tell, the colors match up. We've got Antares, Heavy Industries, showcasing their whole fleet of creations which is always great fun looks like they have a potential kiosk might have some more information a variety of round ships small ships fighter ships big ships make sure you come and check them out i'm sure the ship we are standing on if you haven't had a chance to check out its various features uh which are pretty damn cool we'll probably be here by uh, you know at the end of the tour-ish area to our left we have two small plots, one of which we've kind of already passed by a little bit. Um, you can see it back there. We'll probably loop around and see it again. Uh, but we've got Cafe Incorporated, um, which has this wild... What is this? Some crazy-looking orb setup, perhaps? Um, definitely larger than the, uh, the, than the, the Starship Editor, so 
how they put that together, you're going to have to ask them. I'm mildly hoping the VOD kind of loads in here because this it's is... It's about uh, the size. That's pretty cool. It's pretty... That, that's pretty crazy looking. So I'm just trying to load this thing in right now. I know, right? Like, oh, oh I kind of got it to load in. That's wild looking, bro. Definitely some, uh, some impressive engineering going on in order to assemble that thing. So definitely come check out Carefully Incorporated's plot. As we make a left here, to kind of pass by. Yeah, for those of you that it hasn't loaded in, it might be loaded by now, hopefully. You know, we'll see. Fingers crossed for you. Oh, that thing is crazy looking. That's wild. Um, to our right, we have another large plot. A shared large plot. We have many people here. Lots of different styles to check out. To our right, we have Minor Bats Mazes. We have GSA. Vega Industries. Ace Tech. Sigma Industries and Ifex, all in one plot, hanging out together with their variety of different styles of chips. If you wanna, if you wanna see a whole bunch of different, uh, different construction styles and themes, this is the plot to come to for sure. It looks like they even might have some interesting, uh, perhaps mini games you might be able to play. As this one ship that's really attempting to load in on my end looks like a maze, perhaps. Uh, it's <laughs> amazing. You feel like it's a, it's a maze. If you feel like uh, participating Amazing. in a maze, this is the place to go. Looks like they have the green is maybe the entry or one of the entryways, and then they've got another exit all the way across on the other side. Very it fun says Minor Bats Mazes make. for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, there you go. Minor Bats Mazes, dude. 10 out of 10. And then behind us, if you get a glance at it, is the other Cafe Incorporated plot. The variety of black and purple ships. Definitely come and check that out once uh, once the tour comes over. As we make a right here, we've got two plots, two small plots on our left. Uh, as very clearly labeled, Orion has set up in these two plots. Another staple, uh, very skilled uh, selection of shipbuilders. Um, I enjoy their ships quite a bit because they always feel clean to me. Their, their color scheme with the white and blue. It's always, it's always, it's always very clean, really. you know, like they just kind of scrubbed them clean before they brought them out here. As we make a left down this side path and we pass between both of Orion's plots. Let's see if any of them load in for us. Let's see if it snags it. Orion's got a, a spherical looking ship on the right, which looks kind of interesting. Heads up, Stoon. Your uh, your audio is kind of coming through your mic a little bit. As we continue forward here, past Orion's plots, we have two more small plots, which you can see there's some, they, they some kind of cool stuff. On the left, we have what looks like a little white platform, perhaps showcasing some smaller ships. That is Icarus Project's plot. And then on our uh, that's on our left. On our right, we've got what looks like some some interesting, perhaps uh, yellow. Oh, what is that? It might be a it might be a mining ship, perhaps. Perhaps a couple fighter looking ships. On our right, this is Arcs Sparks. <laughs> In fact, that's not only Arc Sparks. As you can see, uh, one of those is uh, Arcs Classic ship, the one of the event host. The whole row on our right, all the way down, is Arc Sparks. So if you want to come check out what some of the event managers have been up to over the last six months or so, come check out this line. <laughs> Otherwise, on our right, I think we missed one plot by Angel Industries, back by... No, Angel just is right here on our right. We're good. We're good. He I, should be coming, be I think. Um, I think he's pretty busy though, so he might be a little bit late. Fair. So keep an eye on this plot over the next day or two. You never know. We might get some surprise additions by Angel Wing Industries. Hopefully, he's able to make a showing. As we continue forward here, coming up on the left, we have Royal Industries. Uh, I get it. Royal Industries, which is why they have the fantastic crown over their plot. That's great. 10 out of 10. Uh, they have what looks like... Is that an actual pirate ship? I, I mean, yes. I, 
That is pretty fantastic. 10 out of 10. Uh, some interesting designs if you want to see. What would it be like if a pirate ship was, was a spaceship? Well, you can go, you, you come check out this plot. <laughs> Otherwise, as we're passing by more of ARC stuff on the right, you'll notice the big AS in the sky marking these uh, these five plots as ARC Sparks plots. He has all, it looks like he also has a ship. Uh, ship bros quick, quick, out here. Quick note. A uh, quick note, that ship is not by me, it was parked there some time ago. I, uh, oh, fantastic. Oh, okay. Fair. We got a, we got a random, me. guys. It's <laughs> and you might see a lot of those, even if you're not necessarily checking out the plots themselves. Exploring this local area is going to be very interesting over the next couple days. Mm. So even if you're the... randomly exploring, you never know what you're going to find. A quick note, that boat is built by Exo Warlock. Okay, okay. Exo Warlock. Fantastic. On our left, all I can say is, what on earth have they done? Uh, this is this is Seal Club's plot. I can, I don't know how they assembled this impressive Ooh. tower of of demarcation, uh, very clearly announcing that is their territory. It's uh, a Seal, that... Seal Club's plot here. I want to know how what that thing looks like when it moves. I feel, it's like a sword, bro. Holy shnikes. Um, definitely come check them out. Looks like Scipion is currently down there, making sure things stay loaded and safe. Uh, he, he might even be here. Is it, I've seen some engines fire. I don't know if that's for aesthetic or if he's doing something. But definitely uh, come check out whatever on Earth this tower is, because that, that is... Uh, oh, my God. You can see the engines firing at the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's tipping over. Oh god, it's gonna fall over. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh god, please. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully it's not a you know, leading to RPG situation. But anyway, as we continue on, one of the uh, the last plots that we see here on our right is still Ark with his classic. Uh, we've seen it from year to year. The uh, <gasps> the Ferris wheel. I'm always a fan. Ten out of ten. There's a new ship in there as well this year, which is quite impressive. It's got um, cargo lock beams as wings. Ooh. So do check that out. Like that frames, sounds... beams, whatever. Yeah. Very that glowy, very cool. Fun. Very glowy. So definitely come skim by this one. And then on our left, uh, last but definitely not least, we have SP Industries and Lucky Industries. And they look like they have a variety of I see an, uh, an asteroid snagger, uh, perhaps some haulers, um, and I'm sure several things that aren't entirely loaded for all of us. But definitely come check them out. As we approach the end of the tour, I'd like to make a mention of a couple events that will be taking place over the next couple days. Uh, one of which, in fact, is a by Lucky Industries to our left. I believe, I don't know if they have it on the flyer. The flyer tends to be the, the de facto place for these event stuff, but they have a capital that I believe they're hoping to sell off and show off a little bit. 9 p.m. UTC today. Yep, exactly. So if you're interested in checking out a, a luxurious capital and perhaps purchasing it off of them definitely come check out their plot check out the flyer for more dates i think that's on there so i think that's what a visit to magnificence is meant to be and then uh what else do we got i noticed in chat someone advertising it i believe it was cult Let's see if i can figure out how to like scroll my chat I have to click you. Well, maybe it was me with the angel wing. Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that we've got we've got Aha is definitely they are running a event. Maybe DM'd me about it. Let me get the details. They are having a space car event, I think. Yeah, they're doing a space car reveal show Saturday. At uh, 2030 CET time, uh, that would be uh, 8.30 CET, um, hosted by Happy Trigger on his Twitch stream. So today's Friday for all of you. So tomorrow at about 8.30 CET, you can hop on Happy Trigger's stream. They're going to do a whole little uh, space car reveal show, which sounds very funny. 
And then, I believe, just after today's tour, Colt is going to be running an event. I know he posted his Discord in the local chat earlier. I don't know if he's in this Discord with us now. But keep eyes open for that. I'm pretty sure that he's got details in his Discord server if you want to partake in a fun event after the tour, you're more than welcome to go and see what all that's about. Otherwise, I believe that summarizes for Does anyone else have anything here they want to announce regarding uh, EOSCon over the next couple of days? Well, I just uh, want to say I, I missed to park my stuff in Joving Industries, so you found it empty. I just need the tour, uh, but I'm going to be starting to uh, fill it up. Uh, very cool, very cool. That marks uh, the end bye. of the tour. Uh, one, one more thing. Uh, Lone Shade is auctioning a capital ship. Um, he has a very nice video in uh, general, which I might move into uh, exhibitor to... announcements. Oh, fantastic. If you want to see it yourself, um, you can message me on Discord, Lone Trade, and we'll give you the access rights. And the tour will start in one and a half hours from now at the Lucky Industries and Peter Industries. Um, not... Beautiful. Beautiful. Also... Fantastic. Yeah, Big Industries is also doing an auction of one of their ships, a mail-in auction. Very cool, we have a lot of auctions going on, then make sure you show up with your pockets filled with that hard-earned money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, just send it down. Otherwise, that marks the end of the tour. I imagine our beautiful tour ship, once again made by Antares, is probably going to make its way back to its plot. You're more than welcome to stay on the tour ship in order to get slow-boated back over there if you want to start exploring. Otherwise, uh, it was fantastic being able to run the tour again. Like I said before, I find it very wholesome and heartening that we're able to, despite the lack of development of the game, we still group up every, you know, six months or so in order to have a great time uh, seeing all of these wacky designs that people have managed Hell to yeah. come up with. Oh, yeah, by the way, before I forget, uh, sorry, I, I also had a small short announcement. Um, if you want to talk to the designer of our dynamic maze, uh, that's only going to be possible today. Uh, the person that is Kelmore. So you can check that out. Fantastic. Yeah, as a lot of people's schedules are a little hinky, so some ships may come and go over the next few days as people have the time availability in order to partake in the event. Uh, your best chance is to try and interact with people if you want to talk with designers sooner rather than later, um, as some people may not be available in the future. But keep an eye on stuff uh, and enjoy the event. Happy EOS <laughs> Happy Eoscon. Yes, <laughs> one more. Yes, God, what? And of course, one more big shout out to the fantastic organizers of this book. ARC and NTPS put a lot of work into this every single time around. And without their dedication to it, it wouldn't happen. So shout out to them again. Thanks to them. Oh, yeah. Some I think. Oh, there you go. Colt announced it again. They are running an alien event. We'll start soon for those that want to win free BP. Meet in front of the Sky Tanker stand. And then he posted a Discord link. So if you guys want to go over to that event and have some fun, hop in their Discord, see what's going on. An alien event? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. We'll have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, no. This, uh... Yeah, we can also reference like the... Uh... EOSCON discords for like all the latest updated information regarding the con and uh, everything else going on with the exhibitors. Yeah, right. definitely. If you have any questions, this discord is the place to find it. The two ships will now advance slowly to the Atari slot and then park there. Fantastic. Thank you again for driving. That was great. And yeah, thanks a lot for preparing the ship, Waggle. I will forward it to Starbucks. Mm. If you're welcome, and I hope I'm very glad you liked it. Great tour, this you guys. This ship is crazy. It's like a Stargate. It makes me want to fly through the thing. I don't I want to race through it. To the side. 
Which, do not fly through other people's ships, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we I want know, to avoid bumping things through. as much as possible, even if yeah. it is very tempting. Yep, yeah, so yeah, fly reminder, fly, fly on the uh, bars, keep speeds to a minimum, even if you think your ship can fit, do avoid it because thruster plumes do push ships. And don't forget to keep your ships locked down this time around because there was a instance of thievery uh, when yeah, someone was setting up their lock. Some thieves going around. And also, while we're thanking people, uh, thanks Frank for doing an awesome tour. Of being course, an announcer. of course. Yeah, it was pretty awesome, my guy. Hmm, how to see what this alien event thing is. Alright, I'm gonna hop onto the Ouroboros Discord for a bit. Alright, very cool, very cool. Everyone enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just gotta get like Coda updated somehow because was it right when you guys posted that message at like 2 a.m. or something? Because I'm based out uh, in time, so I'm like, wait, 4 a.m.? Oh, shoot, I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> well, it's uh, not exactly the ideal time zone for me in Arconis right now. Uh, yeah, so that's the middle of the day for us, I think. It's 3 oh, a.m. for us right now, so. Yeah, I could totally do that. Oh wait, I don't know. Uh, I think I think we're talking about two separate things here. Quite possibly. <laughs> Untrusted. I'm, I'm, I'm confused now. Yeah, with the uh, uh, scheduled times for EOSCon, or like with the uh, opening ceremony. Yeah, like for the uh, for the past previous ones, you guys have usually held it like yeah, typically midday during uh, U times or even at NA times off and on. Like usually. Oh, long away. They've always been at the start of the event. Uh, I mean, I suppose the first two they were sort of trying to figure out which, which is what is the best time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we eventually settled on this by the amazing deduction of looking at Steam charts and picking the highest player count the time. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Is that how we decide on the date for the US con? Uh, no, that's how we decided the time for at the start, uh, at least. I see. You know, uh, I thought on and that. And then US con do... decides the date for everyone's online. I see. <laughs> We could potentially do opening and closing ceremonies, so that way, no matter what time that uh, EOSCon starts on, whether it's uh, NA-based or even EU-based, uh, then at least one time zone can uh, start one, and then the other side can uh, finish it. I feel like EOSCon might be the kind of thing that, like, oh, the devs are going to delay the update because this is happening at the moment. Well, yeah, if <laughs> ten people are into it, I mean, it's like, I mean... Pretty much with like the content that people create nowadays, like people can like make money off off that apparently, right? Uh huh. One A one loaded faster. I'm trying to find the channel that they said. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is an issue with the Sky Tanker Discord. Hmm. Let's see. Bazinga, says the Shadow Sage. Yeah. 